Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mogul Lover. I hope you're having a great day. Let's continue playing as the German Empire. As we turn our attention towards a different part of Asia in this episode. So, last time we took out the rest of China, and I had divided the Chinese up very nicely. Qing China owns a massive portion of northern China, northern and as well as western. While, oh, got, they got a lot of manpower as well as the National Protection Alliance, has a little bit of manpower, and owns pretty much to the south and the east. Now, I will probably, at this point, just take out the triads, or whatever they're called now, the, yep, triad syndicates, or syndicate. So that'll be pretty cool. Ooh, expanded entertainment. Ooh. Anyways, triad gangs, awesome. Japan, I don't think you, I really don't think you should own this territory, but... You know, you're causing me less lag, so I'll, I'll accept that. Anyways, as you can tell, I did use the console command to get rid of a lot of my negative political power, but we do have, or we did have, negative zero political power. We're currently waiting for our soldiers to get down here to Hyderabad to take them out and unite the rest of India with what we're going to call the new Mughal Empire, which is obviously led by Iran. And I have caught all this Indian ter territory towards Iran as well. So, Iran, you're looking pretty thick. That's a lot of divisions, a lot of... Manpower. Uh, wait, after the seizure of some of the coastal cities of China, uh, give that to Qing? Wait, Chao? Kia Cho. Kia Cho. What the hell is Kia Cho? Jinan, this is... Oh, maybe over here. No, actually, I think I, I like that. I like that. It just fits very nicely with what I've already taken, so. Uh, but this is definitely not going to be Japanese. Go ahead and transfer that over to me. Thank you very much, Japan. You definitely did not deserve that. Actually, I, could, I should have taken this port. Uh, you know, I think I will actually take that as well. That'll be better. That's that's a little better. I mean, Japan or Qing China will have more than enough than if they lose those two states. I mean, they lost like 200,000 manpower from losing two one state. So, but whatever, they got enough. Cool, and we're, we are trying to continue our war with the... German government in exile, which is going okay. It's not going great, but it's going all right. Hoffman, I doubt you have anything for me. Pretty much. Figures. We have had a major breakthrough through here, which is doing very, very well. When the German government in exile does capitulate, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to annex all the lands. I mean, there's no point for really me to release any sort of colonies. Unless you would say otherwise, but I don't think it really is important for me to do so. And it looks like the Ethiopian Navy is doing a bang-up job right here, destroying anything that moves in the water. Does anyone need more repairs? Yes. Uh, how about destroyers? Uh, yes, and then... Yes. Cool, very nice. Very cool. Free dockyards, of course. Interwar. Battleship. Interwar fast battleship? Nah, I'm not really about that life. Uh, uh, we only have one, so I'm just going to say no for now. And have all of our soldiers came over here. Oh, we also want to go to war with Nepal, so. Where are you guys? Oh, you're over here. You guys are over here. At this point, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go to war with them. Both of them at the same time. We might as well. So, we will go to war with Nepal. They have an unofficial pact with those people. And no one cares about Bhutan. Alright, and the game's going to like extremely hard, and I'm thinking I'm going to give this these territories to... Let's just give them to the Mughal Empire, since they're already going to take over most of India, and I don't remember... Oh god, hold on. Exactly. If they ever own Nepal and Bhutan, but at this point, since I'm going to give the Mughal Empire, or Iran, all of India, I might as well just give them this. Now, I will give the Kingdom of Burma to someone else. Maybe I'll just give it to the National Protection Alliance, because technically... Wait, Ireland declared one oath there. We have paratroopers. Wait. Um... There... Uh, I mean, I, I guess. Enemies... Yeah. I guess, so... Whatever... Um, I really don't understand what just happened here, so 
I'm going to leave it up to my allies to take out Ulster. That makes no sense to me. But, oh, Ulster Catholics. Wow, a lot less population. Severely crippled by Irish repression. No surrender. Yeah, these guys have no divisions because we probably just went to war with them. Yeah, go ahead. Everyone, go ahead and come into the war as well. Uh, Ireland is obviously going to capitulate, but I am confident that our allies... Oh, well, I'll take them out anyways. Oh, so the Irish do have some division. All right, cool. Very nice. Uh, we definitely need a little more political power to do this. Political states. Thank you very much, Nepal. Very cool. And with that in mind... Wait, return NPA... National Protection Alliance lands. Uh, I don't... Oh, I have a city down here. ZMN. Actually, yeah. Actually, ZMN can have that. I don't really care. Cool. Mark. Transfer it over. And that's a colony state, but that'll be a core, so that's okay. Uh, I will take Guangzhou, just, cause, just because that's, I think, a pretty popular city that we could probably use very well. Please keep one southern city in China. And three convoys sunk. Very nice, very good. So, regarding this, I'm just going to go ahead and take this, as well as this, transfer it over to the Mughal Empire. Less lag, and it doesn't really affect the game too much. Oh, and they have a little tail here. Actually, Qing China has a claim on that. You know what, let's give it to Qing China, because we can. Because we can. Now, would that look better? Actually, you know, uh... Mm, honestly, that would look better, probably, actually, under Qing China. Even though Qing China is very, very strong. It just looks a little better. And it's not a core, but whatever. Yep, that actually doesn't look too bad. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and up Ireland out. Oh, my gosh. Against, yeah. Yeah, cool. Everyone, going to help out. Are our soldiers ready? Kind of, but we have a few soldiers here that do not have orders. At this point, actually, you all need to respread yourselves out a little bit better. We do have our tanks down here. Very good. They're going to come all the way over here. Actually, I want... This is a probably bad idea. But we need to take out Burma, which... Once we annex, I'll probably give it to the National Protection Alliance, just because it's not technically Chinese by the name. I mean, it is Chinese. But that will help offset the balance the balance of power between them and Qing China if I can give Burma to the National Protection Alliance. And that would give them extra more ports and stuff to work with. I think that would be probably for the best. Ooh, that's planner. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Radetsky. All right. Sure. We've got a little bit of political power. So we're going to wait for our soldiers to regroup and stuff like that. And then we will go ahead and go to war. Actually, do we have any airbase? Uh, actually, do that. That would definitely help. And actually, yeah, level 1 infrastructure for three full, almost three full armies probably isn't going to be the, for the best. Convoys, awesome. Actually, let's get, let's get some better air power over here. And probably over here as well, because we will definitely need more planes here. What is the situation like for Germany? The German government in exile. Plant, oh, quite a few divisions, not too many factories. Quite a bit of manpower, actually. And four ships left. Wow, we are pounding away at the German uh, sea fleet. Very good. One carrier, half half strength, is going to go fight everyone in the Donau Edrebund. Sounds like a great idea, guys. Anything else? Ooh, 100 subs? Sure, why not? How's this war going? Well, we've lost half of Ireland, but our allies and are doing pretty well. So I'm not really worried. Alright, are we ready to go? Almost. Almost. Actually, just, just to be sure, do we have enough air power? No, we don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no, not again. Uh, why, game, why, why do you hate me? Why does the game hate me so? I'll just add 200, like, over here or something. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll add another 800 here or so. 
Heavy fighters. Cool. Oh man, this sucks. So give our guys a little bit more time to get over to where they need to be. Uh, heavy tanks. Oh, good god. Uh, carrier fighters. Definitely don't need any of that. Regular fighters. Well, we still kind of need them. But not a lot of these. I don't ever use close air support either, so it makes no sense to do this. Uh, naval bombers. You know what? I need to switch a lot of this over to auto, like, prioritized for upgrading. That's what I really need. Tactical bombers. Yeah, a lot of garbage here. Even though we really should be using jet tactical bombers, but that's okay. Ah, oh, there we are. Some jet tactical bombers are good. Some of them not so good. We are we are producing almost 300 heavy fighters a week. That's insane. Good, good. Oh. Uh, jet fighters, whatever. Close air support. Naval bombers. Awesome. Fighters. Jet. Yeah, we're making those. I don't want to delete those. A lot of garbage. Strategic bombers. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, get, just get rid of it. That's fine. Oh, uh, look at us. Crap. Ugh. Disgusting. Let's go ahead and come over here and set it to high. Armor division. We're still making those. We are going very well. And we should be ready to go at this time. Oh, good. Actually, that's really good. Send two. Come over here. Lower the speed just by a little bit. You two come over here. You two come over here. Over here. And we still got some space for some more bombers. Oh, we, nice. And we'll actually add you to this group. Or take Ulster. Actually, where's the Irish flag? There you are. You can have all the states, I don't really care. Just don't bother me with that again. Get your country under control, Ireland, gosh. And then we're going to have a couple more jet tactical bombers. Not a lot, but some. Alright, good enough for me. Alright, and actually does Ireland have cores on that? They should. Yeah, they do. Cool. Alright, let's go to war. Go to war with these guys. Always a great time. Oh, they're already fighting the Anton, but Anton is not doing very well against them. And here comes the lag. Ah. Coffee is great. I'm kind of tired today, guys. I need to stop going to sleep at a very late time. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, we got some tanks here. We got some extra boys. Uh, let's see, how's this look, that looking? Divisions are actually all ready to go over here. You know what? Why don't we go to war with both then? Uh, actually, yeah, call all the allies in as well. And did I just see that correctly? Is that Somalia? Oh, the Kachin Republic. At first, I thought that was a flag of Somalia, but I guess Kachin Republic has wants that as well. So, and a little bit more lag. Ah, keep me awake, guys. Keep me awake. All right, so our guys have decided to start attacking. I should have actually done this earlier, but I suppose where's our capital? Hyderabad capital is in Hyderabad. Should have figured that one out. I don't know. Anyway, so we're both going to attack here. I want the tanks to do a really good job and split the country in half. Definitely take out that uh hangar. Airbase, and just get down to Vizagap at Nam. I am a good pronunciator. Alright, Lotard, you're a level 7 general. Something tells me you're probably a fairly good general. Ooh, close air support 2. Let's get close air support 1 for planes as well. Uh, you guys aren't doing so hot, but just don't go become too crazy. Cough right? Awesome. Cool. No, 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 guys, guys, guys. Oh, we can do this. Let's do that. Uh, what is that? Muscat? No, 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 no. You do not understand what we are doing. Uh, tanks, how are you doing? I need to re really reorganize all this stuff here. You are... Oh, they actually have land forts. Level 2 land forts, huh? Alright, well, since this is going on... You are in Asia, so I'm actually going to pull you down here. That's better. 
So, 400. You can split them up a little bit better. And we can actually probably add a few more bombers here. 400 more bombers, yeah. I'm surprised, kind of, that the Indians do not have better... Uh, oh, wait. These are he God dang, these are heavy fighters. That they don't have, um... More air support. Oh, that's heavy fighters. Yeah, I grabbed that by accident. I grabbed those. That'd be a little better. There you go. Whatever. Good enough. The tanks, I feel that will probably do a good enough job anyways. Are we... Do we have a deficit of tanks? Mm, I don't, oh, we kind of do. We kind of do. How are these looking? Armored divisions. Oh, we're still using some mediums. That's not good. Let's go ahead and put in some modern tanks. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. Convoys sunk. Ooh, six Indian convoys. Uh, looks like some Iranian divisions got encircled. That's not good. And we are making a very disgusting way around Africa. Alright. Yeah, just go on through here, guys. Uh, we have definitely broken through the northern portion of Central Africa. Very nice. What's the capital? I guess it's Dar es Salaam. Alright, cool. Very cool. How many things are trying to repair here? None! So, we can send our navy to repair. As you can tell, the game is lagging. I mean, it is 1950... 1950. Almost 1951. Cool. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh that's not good. Ooh, baby. We lost a few convoys there. Nice, we split up the country. Now, my great soldiers, I want you to focus in on this portion, the top half. Top portion. Oh, actually, no. I need you to actually make sure that the Indians can actually move, so you're all going to have garrison in this area. Very good. All right. Yes, yes, there's a little bit of infrastructure, or not enough infrastructure, whatever. That's fine. You guys will be good enough anyways. Uh, but you guys go ahead and take this guy out. Uh, you can come in this direction, too. Yeah, these guys are getting melted. What's the stats on Hyderabad? The Indian princes are not going to win. Wow, that's a lot of divisions. It's a lot of manpower. Can't wait to give that all to the Mughal Empire. Oh, and Burma's falling very nicely, too. Mm. And there goes the coffee. And, like, as custom, always clean your teeth out when you have coffee. Mm, mm. Now I have perfect teeth. Absolutely perfect. No stains, no coffee stains on these teeth. After you have a little bit of water and... After this episode, I'm going to get a little bit more mouthwash to wash out. That, what the heck? Ot Ottoman Africa. Alright, then, whatever. For now. For now. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. We're doing a bang-up job. Good job, guys. Well, losses. We've lost 1,000 Austrians, nearly 200,000 Russians, with... <sighs> wow, Burma. I don't know how you lost that many soldiers already... Uh, you were quite a bit smaller than Hyderabad, but you've lost about at least more than half than Hyderabad's casualties. We must have sunk a lot in the water, that's all I can say. And what's a manpower rush? They're not looking like they're doing that well. Oh, they got a lot of manpower. Yeah, they got, they still got a lot of manpower. Oh, they cut these guys off, that's awesome. Go ahead and take, it looks like they have a radar station over there, so go ahead and fluff them out. Oh, looks like Burma is not doing so well. How are the tanks? It looks like we have enough ally divisions where I'm going to just say, Hey, tanks, you're doing a great job. Just go just go ahead and end them. Alright, I wish you'd become an organizer. This is Carl. Yeah, I wish you'd become an organizer so we get to Logistics Wizard, or maybe even Panzer Leader. Hmm. That's alright. So we'll give it a little bit more time, and this will be over very easily. Very, very easily. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, a lot of things here. Africa is going about the way it always goes, slowly. And yes, the Entente is getting stronger, but that's okay. Did we, oh, I guess we did take Dar es Salaam. And uh, they moved, the German government in exile has moved to Lagos, which is a part of modern-day what? Germany. Yeah, that's right. It's part of modern-day Germany. All right. How is our fleet? I mean, we keep seeing things that pop up here. I mean, oh, some of these ships got hurt. I bet a lot of our destroyers got hurt as 
Well, okay, maybe not a lot of our destroyers got hurt. Go and detach when you need to. How is our other navy doing? I mean, I told him to, you know, occupy the area around Ireland, English Channel. Any hurt ships? I mean, this is a massive fleet. Over 37 dreadnoughts. Oh, they already are repairing. Cool. Two armored... Oh, we have 28 ships over here. They might not have enough space to actually repair. How are they doing? Yep, they're, they're doing fine. They'll be done by January 14th of 1951. So with that in mind, happy 1951, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Hope it's going to be a cool, good one for everyone here. Or at least us. Not our enemies. Oh, oh. You know, I don't know who nuked. I'm going to say it's Japan or Russia. Because I do know. We do know. Japan did have nuclear reactors. But I don't think we really needed to nuke Calcutta. I mean, it's not like the Indians are putting up that much of a stiff resistance. But, you know, my allies, my puppets, they do what they want. God, it's good having allies. It's good having friends, isn't it? I think so. Uh, Greece wants a non-aggression pact. Whatever. Praha? Ooh. Ooh Praha class ship. Ooh. Oh, that poor infantry division. Gonna die in the water, die in the jungles of Africa. That's gotta be a terrible way to go. Suppress subjects. Ah, uh, you know, why does it say suppress subjects? Just, why can't it say, like, enlighten our subjects? Like, you don't have to suppress them. You just enlightening them by giving them opportunities to pursue closer bonds with the host country. I think that sounds so much better. Yeah, uh, tanks are doing just a bang-up job. Oh, that's Africa, that's Asia. Yeah, okay. Good. Carl, what are you learning? You are at most learning to be an organizer, a panzer leader, but nothing like Hills Fighter, not really, he's only 7% of the ways there. What about Lothar? What are you learning? You are learning to become an engineer and a ranger. Interesting. Well, you'll definitely need more skill, as we are quickly dismantling the Hyderabad, or Indian, country. A lot of casualties. Wow, that's a lot of casualties. Germany's about halfway to capitulating. And once India's done, I'm going to send a lot of the armies to take out the triads. They won't take, they won't take very long to take them out. I might just do it off-screen anyways. Uh, Hyder uh, Burma, though, is putting up quite a resistance. Quite a resistance. How much manpower does Hyder... Wait. Contr oh, controller. I thought Qing China actually had claims on this territory. I'm like, wow! Chinese Empire is doing... has a lot of claims on everything. And, let's see, that's, that looks pretty good, so let's go with better carriers, then. We actually have political power. It kind of feels good, doesn't it? It feels good to have some sort of power in life. Some sort of, you know, political power, which most of us have none of. But, we can fake it using video games. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of divisions. That's a, yeah, a, that's a ton of divisions, actually. Uh, let's see, just, is anyone going in here? It's like free territory, it's free real estate, I mean, come on. Very good. And once the tanks are done, we'll send them down to Hyderabad proper, and take them out. Mm-hmm. Just go on ahead, guys. Go on ahead. There's no shame in waiting it out. If anything, you're causing the defenders more stress as to when they will never see the day, the light of day again. Oh, look. We got a few armies up here that have nothing to do. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we should give them something to do. You should come up here. And then you shall come to Ningbo, which something tells me I probably don't need 24 divisions to take out Ningbo. But you never know. All right, come on, guys, take them out, take them out. Yes, it's a port, God dang it. Whatever. All right, very good. Everyone, come over here. All right. Uh. Yeah, you guys do that. It won't take very long to take all those guys out. All right, very good, very very good, and a low tide. Cancel the lease, That's fine. Where is the weakest point for us to strike? Probably close to Nagpur. And then we'll strike into there. And go when you can. Give them a little bit of time, give them a little, a little bit of a rest. And who are you? Ah, yes. 
you can surround the Triad Syndicate, and then that should be enough for us to capitulate them. Anton Sturm, do you have anything for us? No? Disappointing. But we'll go to war with them and take them out very, very easily. You guys, uh, maybe increase something here? It's not going super well for us. Can you guys just get down here? I doubt you can. Just, you know, the, the enemy, even though you guys aren't doing super well with equipment and supplies, or, because, you yeah, know, Russia has enough manpower, Burma doesn't. Or at least they don't have enough equipment. And actually, you know what, I'm going to give Russia some more equipment. I'm sure we've got more than enough for everyone in the world, but just in case. Start Lindley's. So what can we give them? We can give them 10,000 trucks. We can give them 22 pieces of crappy artillery. Well, not, it's not too crappy artillery, but artillery that we don't really use. We'll give you 1,000 pieces of this artillery. We'll give you 200,000 guns. And we'll give you, oh, I don't know, 2,500 rocket artillery pieces, or whatever pieces of machine that was. Oh, they're actually taking, Hyderabad's taking out the Dutch East Indies, or Dutch East Indies, and, okay, well, that's where probably all your divisions went. Oh, uh, it looked like, oh, Hyderabad just got nuked. Good job, guys, good job. Very nice. Do it again. Play it again, Sam. And why don't we build up some infrastructure, because we can. Oh, we are kicking some butt down here in Burma. Beautiful. Zatania, Castle Lendlease, whatever. Uh. Nope. Alright, how are the tanks doing? Oh, they're going in. I told them. I didn't even give them a break. Oh, whoops. Uh. Well, that's alright. We want them. We want India to be conquered pretty much by the end of this video, anyways. But they've lost over about two and a quarter million soldiers. Awesome, 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 awesome. Volta, do you have anything? Do you have anything, Volta? No. All right, that's okay. You don't have to. And Germany is looking great. And by Germany, I mean we're looking good. I mean, look at this. This is a sexy gray shade of German greatness. Ah, oh, I gotta play some Victoria too sometime. Anyways, this Germany is a fake Germany, obviously, and. Uh, yeah, they don't deserve to live. Oh, modern subs are done. Cool. Yeah, at this point, just go ham. Just go all out. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we got better subs. We're doing stuff with carriers. That I'm probably never going to use. We're done with that stuff. We're done with all this stuff. We're done with all... Almost all this stuff. Conversion bonus. <gasps> I didn't do conversion bonuses. Oh, no. Ethiopia is looking nice and okay. There, it doesn't look nice, but it looks thick, very thick. All right, you guys. Ethiopian divisions doing a great job. Don't mess with Ethiopia. Do we have any extra generals? No, that's okay. We will have some extra generals before we go to war with the Antan. Maybe Burma. They're losing their crap. They're losing it. Got a few divisions this way, that way, whatever way you want to go. Doesn't really matter to me. Come on, guys, hurry up. Just take the capital if you can. Let's see. Very good. Very good. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not going to do very well. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. How are the tanks doing? That's really what I'm concerned about. The tanks generally have better organization now. They were kind of sparse on that earlier. Alright, just go ahead. Oh, or the Germans will capitulate first. Awesome. Just go ahead and take all... Middle Africa. Hmm, I should have maybe liberated Middle Africa. That actually would have worked out very nice for us. Regardless, tanks, I really would request that you go ham. We want to get this over with quickly. How about you guys? What are you guys doing? You guys have. Re I've requested that you go ham as well now. Do not give them breaks. Do not give them quarter. Make sure they really feel where- oh wow, 16, oh my gosh, 16. Oh my gosh. Hmm, can I release Deutsche Middle Africa? Peru, Bolivian, Social Republic of Honduras. 
no, AOG, that'd be interesting. We're going to liberate that in Guangzhou and Kiaochou. French Kingdom, Return Territory, Dailon, no. Oh, there we go, we can do, do this. Actually, that would be extremely good. You know what, let's do that. Because it is, we have, or maybe not we, but uh, the previous German administration has tried to do this. Oh my god, this is just... Oh, that's disgusting. Alright, so, in this episode, we're not going to be able to take out Hyderabad completely just yet. And that's okay, we'll finish them up next time. Uh, regarding this, uh, well, yeah, we'll take them out next time. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit, because this is really bad right now. And following this episode, we will take out, of course, Hyderabad. But we actually might start a war with the Entente, because at this point, that is our last enemy besides the Triads, which I guess I'll take out in the next episode as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here. Leave a like if you like the video. And if you just like the video, leave a like anyways. And I will see you tomorrow as we further advance the cause of resurrecting the Mughal Empire. Thank you again for watching.